Hello everyone, welcome to Hastap and Makarwar's channel. Today's video is about understanding the importance of a spark plug heat wrench. This is a concept that is very misunderstood. So we're going to bring the camera up close and we're going to go over this so you can understand it better. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, let's understand what spark plug heat wrench means. And that is the spark plug's ability to dissipate the heat from its firing end into the engine's cooling system, which is going to start at the cylinder head. So let's take a look at how this is done. To make this easier to understand, I made this drawing just like if you were to cut this part of the spark plug, so you could see inside. So the first drawing is the hot spark plug. So this is the direct heat exchange right there. So we only have a very small section. Now if we look at a cold spark plug, all of this surface to dissipate the heat into the cooling system. So the cold spark plug has a faster heat transfer. So now that you can see how this works, you can understand how these spark plugs a lot of times they're chosen wrong. And choosing the incorrect heat range can cause a lot of problems. And one of the most common mistakes that is done is choosing a hot spark plug for an engine that produces more horsepower and it has higher combustion chamber temperatures. A hot spark plug needs to be chosen for an engine that produces less horsepower and it has lower combustion chamber temperatures. That way it can prevent fouling and all the mixture can burn and there will be less deposits accumulated right here in this section. Now the cold spark plug because it transfers the heat faster this is a plug that should be chosen for an engine that has a lot higher combustion chamber temperatures, meaning it's an engine that has more horsepower, supercharged, turbocharged, things like that. That way the spark plug won't get so hot because when an engine has very high combustion chamber temperatures and the spark plug remains glowing hot, it's going to cause pre-ignition. Because if this electric was still glowing hot and the piston was in its compression stroke and it was not all the way up yet, this could ignite the mixture way before it gets the current from the ignition coil creating the spark. So those are a couple of the main reasons why it's so important to choose the correct heat range when it comes to spark plugs. And because each spark plug manufacturer is going to choose its own method of how they're going to label the spark plugs, we can't just name one specific, whether it is ascending or descending. You would just have to look at the manufacturer and see what they're using and look at their charts to see what the heat wrench is for each spark plug that they're making. One of the things to consider, if you did not make any modifications to your engine and everything is stock, all you have to do is follow the instructions of the car manufacturer as far as which plug belongs in your engine. If you do that, you won't have anything to worry about because they already did all the homework. However, if you start making modifications, increasing horsepower, supercharging it, turbocharging it, then you have to go with a colder spark plug. And you may have to experiment with a couple different levels of heat ranges until you get the correct one. And how you're going to know is, after you run it for a few thousand miles, when you pull the spark plug, the area around the electrodes should be free of deposits and the spark plug should look very, very clean and normal. Last but not least, let's say you have an engine that came with colder plugs, but now it's starting to burn oil and deposits are accumulating. You can start playing and put a little bit of a hotter plug to see if that burns the oil better and keeps it from falling. That's another way to play with spark plug heat ranges in different engines depending on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And there you have it. You should have a better understanding about how the spark plugs are designed and how they all have different heat ranges and choosing the correct one for your engine is very crucial to maximize performance. Thanks for watching. See you next time.